Hi everyone, my name's Alice from Discover AI. And in this short video, I want to walk through how we can take Icon Map to the next level by combining uh, points with custom polygons on our own map. Uh, so this is the map we created in the previous video. Um, a pretty simple map showing uh, different locations across Victoria, and we've symbolized those using icons. So uh, this is a pretty simple map. We want to take it to the next level uh, by incorporating custom polygons into the map as well. So in our example here, we've got a synthetic data set. I want to display not only uh, the reservoirs and wetlands and forests across Victoria, but also um, the water corporation boundaries and some key waterways as well. So within Icon Map, we can bring this data into Power BI and visualize it uh, using WKT. So WKT, it's a spatial file format. It stands for well-known text. And it allows us to store um, our spatial file as a text file format, uh, which can be read by the icon map. So I'll show you what our data set looks like behind the scenes. Here we have a single table which combines um, both WKT and point file together um, in the single table. Here we have um, our latitude and longitude points for uh, key locations across uh, Victoria and in the same table here we have different water corporations and waterways and these are regions so we're storing this data as WKT. Here we can see just by hovering over um, this field here what the structure of WKT is. Uh, it really is just a collection of coordinates of points uh, which make up these polygons. Uh, for those of you who haven't uh, worked with WKT before or you're unfamiliar with this file format, um, I'll quickly show you how you can create it using um, a free mapping software, QJS. So here we are in QJS. Um, we've got our spatial file. This is just of our water corporation boundaries. If we want to export this as WKT, all we have to do is right click on this file. You can go export, save features as can change the format. You can see you can choose a whole heap of formats in QJS, um, but what we want to save it as is a CSV file. Let's give our file a name. Uh, it's going to be Water Corps WKT. Uh, make sure your coordinate reference system um, is applicable for your data. And we scroll all the way down just under this geometry field. We want to make sure that we select as WKT. Um, I'm not going to add this file to the map. We can have a look at this um, in Excel in a minute. So that's all we need to do. We just press OK. You can see this layer was successfully exported. So I'm just going to open this up now. I'm just going to drag in this CSV file here into Excel. And uh, you can see that it saves um, those coordinate uh, combination of coordinate points for us, as well as everything else in that spatial attribute table. So once we have the data in this format, um, it's Power BI as usual. Uh, we can import the data into Power Query, do any transformations that we want to do on the data set, uh, like append different tables together, uh, things like that, clean up the data a little bit, um, and then we're ready to start visualizing it in Icon Map. So if we head back over to Power BI, let's get my report open again. Which one are we in? We're in this one here. Um, you can see that that's how we create this table here with this special WKT structure. So now that we've got that data, how do we actually bring it into the visual? So I'll go back over here into the report. Uh, you can see just as usual, um, we've got our index field here under category. Uh, we've got the latitude and longitude here for our points and our size field, but there's no option here for adding our WKT. So this option is actually uh, hidden within our formatting options. So if we go uh, into formatting options for this visual, under the objects here, uh, we can see that we have this option for our image or our WKT. So we had a look at this in the previous um, video where we added in that dynamic measure for our map icon, where we use the switch true um, function to dynamically switch between different uh, image URLs for the icons. 
So how would we go about uh, plotting both an image and a WKT file in the same map? Um, this is where the visual is really clever. Uh, it can tell if we have an image URL or a WKT file uh, fed into this measure. So um, we've got WKT uh, file formats for our water corporations and our waterways here. So none of these types here, these are all point types. So what I'm going to do is just do um, an else clause for my switch true statement here. Um, otherwise, if all of these um, conditions fail, then let's just get uh, the selected value of of our water resource assets. Um, the, we want the WKT field here, and it will return uh, this uh, this field. So if I just press enter here, here we can see that those um, that now we have polygons added into this map. So we've got all of these point icons here. If I select a specific waterway, I can zoom to that and we can see that we've got a polygon displayed and it's all interactive, all in the same map. So this is really cool. Uh, this is, um, allows us, this visual allows us to combine the points with polygons and also lines as well if we had that in our data set. But you can see that it looks a little bit messy at the moment. It's a little bit, um, a bit hard to distinguish our water corporation boundaries from our rivers. Um, and that's because all the data is visualized as the same color. So icon map, again, has a ton of different formatting options for us to play around with. So really take your time exploring these. So if we have a look, I think at this time it's under the format option. Yep, that's it. We can see that we can change the fill color um, and also the border color as well of, 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 different, um, of different features. But if we want to take it to the next level, we have two different types of data here. Um, we can make our fill color and border color dynamic as well. We can make this based on a, a field or a measure in our data set. So if we go back and have a look at our data again, um, I've got a couple of different uh, fill and outline colors here, uh, depending on whether we have a water corporation or a waterway. So if we go back into our visual here, we can change that based on a field value here. Here we're doing fill. So let's do this uh, map region fill color here. And we'll just get the first of it. Change that and let's change do the same thing with our border color again. So under field value, oh, what did I name this? Is it outline? Yes. Cool. Okay. And now you can see that these um, water corporations and waterways really stand out and the map's looking a lot nicer. So thanks everyone for watching and I really hope everyone enjoys playing around with Icon Map to visualize your own custom uh, polygons, points and lines in Power BI. So stay tuned for future videos um, where I'll explore how we can create our own custom base map uh, to really make our Icon Maps uh, fully customized and uh, have a look at lots of different options that we've got to play around with in Icon Map as well. So thank you so much and we'll see you next time.